guys my name is Mel if you're a regular here welcome back if you're new here I would love for you to stick around on this channel you'll get content that consists of lifestyle motherhood travel fashion with a sprinkle of business today I'll be talking about how to make money from blogging there are so many reasons to want to start a blog and initially I started my blog as a way to document our journey and to have our blog to look back on later in life a lot of other people start a blog to make money as a full-time job or a side hustle other popular reasons are you can blog anywhere in the world and make money it is fun and work is never the same and you can make money while owning your own time before we get into the money portion let's quickly go over how to start a blog okay the first thing you want to do is start ASAP it doesn't have to be perfect in fact in the beginning you may not have that much traffic you want to make sure you post your post immediately to let Google figure out what your site is about so you can rank better in search results Next, you want to find a web host. Bluehost or GoDaddy are two good ones. Next, make sure you have your niche, your blog name, and your website picked out. Make sure that the name you want is available on all platforms so that you can stay consistent across all of the platforms on social media. If your name is babyballoons.com, you want to make sure that you can secure baby balloons on social media or something close to it so people know how to find you across all networks. Next, you want to choose your platform. I highly recommend WordPress, which is what I use, and I self-host my website, which is highly recommended. For example, Squarespace and Wix are hosted websites, and you do not own them. You were just renting space. So if they shut their platform down, everything that you posted on their platform is gone. And I am big on everyone owning their own data. Shameless plug, I own an app company called Melanie Marie Apps where we create multiple apps for people or businesses. Because I'm all about people owning their own data, I decided to launch this platform so now you have your own network within your own app. I digress. Back to the, what we're talking about. <laughs> I watched a lot of courses on blogging so that I can learn strategies on what I needed to do because I was new to it and I wanted to be good at it. When learning things on your own, it may take up so much of your time and a lot of money if you make any mistakes. So it's worth it to invest the money in different courses or learning tools to help you be the best that you can be. And the investment will definitely pay off in the end. Next, you want to design your website. You don't need to be a graphic designer or even need one. Having a professional website is so important, so you want to make sure that your site looks nice. Your viewers will take you seriously when your site is professional and easy to navigate. You can create a blog using a theme. Most successful bloggers use a theme, which is what I've always done. So all you have to do is choose the theme, pick the one you like, and just add in your content. You can get a theme from websites called Piptig, Etsy, or 17th Avenue. I've always had a theme for each of my blog revisions, and I just find a style I like, and I just put everything in, and they always look so neat and crisp. You don't have to worry about creating every little section because they are already there. All you're doing is putting the info in the pre-made sections. Okay, let's get to the money. I launched my blog in October 2016, and when I launched, I was super consistent. I posted three to five times a week, and I mentioned in one of my previous videos that I would never ever have thought that I was going to have a blog. However, I really enjoy having a blog and I think it's really fun. I consider it as another business for me and it generates me a lot of extra income. The main thing you always want to focus on is SEO. SEO stands for search engine optimization and basically it is the best practices for how to maximize the number of visitors to your website so that your post appears high on the list of results when you search for something. For example, when you Google something, there are always the top websites that come up first on the first page. That's where you want your website to be. Everything you do, you need to do for SEO. The pictures you choose, the titles of the pictures, how you write your keywords, just everything focuses on SEO. Focus on SEO in case all of the other networks go down so that your blog will always be there and people will always be able to find it when they search on Google. The plugin that I use to help majorly with my SEO is called Yoast SEO. After I write a post, there's a checklist at the end of each post letting me know if my SEO is the best it can be. Once you complete one of the SEO tasks, the SEO icon turns on green. Green means good. If I'm still missing items, the SEO icon is red, which lets me know I need to correct something. Another way to earn money is affiliate marketing, which is linking something to your blog and someone will make a purchase and then you get a commission. Affiliate marketing lets you earn a commission for every sale, click, lead, or transaction your content generates to a seller or a company. There are several affiliate programs and networks you can join, which I will link in the description, including some from popular stores and e-commerce sites. 
These include Amazon Associates, Reward Style, Apple, Walmart, Commission Junction, Share Sale, eBay Partner Network. The commission may be small, but when you are getting a lot of page views, they add up. When first starting your blog, nobody cares about you. They only care about themselves and what you can provide to them. People are going to want something when they visit your post, whether it's info, how to do something, or links to buy something that you say you had. You want to add a lot of affiliate links to your post so you can make a lot of money, but on the flip side, you don't want your post to come off as too spammy or like you were only creating the post to just make the money. Viewers like when they can read something without feeling like a salesman is hounding them to buy. And people can tell when it's written to only make the writer money or if you're writing this because you actually wanted to write the post because you enjoy it. Make your post more helpful if you are going to be linking. Try to offer something like a free resource. This makes the affiliate marketing seem less sales-like. And if you are a public figure type person and people take an interest in you, then it's easier to sell. Many bloggers sample products or services and review them on their site using affiliate links or tracking links. And these redirect readers to the seller's website. Joining an affiliate program will let you find a list of products to review and tools that let you keep track of links performance and increase the conversion rate, which is the number of users that complete a desired action or transaction in your site. Next, you can display ads and you want to get into an ad agency. To get into an ad agency, you need to have page views. Google AdSense is the easiest one to get into, but you don't make too much money at all. Other ad agencies are Mediavine, She Knows, The Blogger Network, Buy Sell Ads, Propeller Ads, or other similar platforms, which I'll link below. Mediavine and AdThrive are amazing, but you already have to have a massive amount of page views to get into these. To get the page views, you have to have people on your website, and that's why you always have to focus on SEO, as I mentioned previously. A simple way to start earning some revenue is to sell ad space. Letting brands advertise on your page has many advantages, especially since it doesn't require a big time investment from you. There are two ways to generate income selling ad real estate. The first is cost per click, also CPC. Also, this is known as pay per click, PPC. This means you get paid each time a user clicks on an ad shown on your website. The other way is cost per thousands, CPM, also known as cost per mile. This lets you negotiate a set price for every 1,000 impression or views the ad gets. And a tip is to use ads judiciously. Filling up your site with tons of ads can affect its ranking, credibility, load time, and ultimately the user's experience. Think about if it were you on the site and it was full of ads, you would be turned off because I know I sure would be. Another way to get page views is to get your content on Pinterest. I have been pinning all of my posts since I started my blog and you can literally get all the views by only using Pinterest. Pinterest is the only social media that people go to to get on somebody else's website. There are specific things you need to do for Pinterest like how you create pins, design them, etc. to get the platform to start working in your favor. But once you start, it's amazing. A great way to start earning money from your blog is to sell products. Selling your own products or services is another good monetization method for a blog. You want to make time to create products that add value to your readers and visitors, preferably things that tie into your blog. These can be physical products, for example, books or photographic prints. They can also be digital products like PDF or audio files that your readers can download. Most web hosting providers and blogging platforms have widgets and other features that you can add to create an online store. These are typically known as plugins, which are a bit of code that give your website added functionality. Plugins give you the ability to add secure contact forms, optimize your images, or create online stores with the click of a button. A tip for this is do not have your blog revolve around your products, even if you add an online store. Instead, keep creating the high quality content that attracted readers in the first place. If you sign up for some of the affiliate marketing companies I mentioned earlier, you can create a storefront using the product links if you do not want to sell a physical product and you can earn money that way. Next, you can post sponsored content. Many popular bloggers get brand sponsorships. That is, they get a company to pay them to write sponsored posts that promote or talk about its products. Let's say you occasionally upload tutorial videos to your photography blog showing you how to edit photos in a particular app or software. You could then approach the app manufacturer and ask them whether they'd be interested in sponsoring that particular post. I get a lot of emails or people DMing me saying the same thing when it comes to Melanie Marie Jewelry, how they want to wear the jewelry on their YouTube channel, they review it, they have a lot of followers, yada yada yada. So people do do it all the time. 
To get a sponsorship, you can reach out to a brand and pitch yourself. Your pitch should include a brief explanation of who you are, what you do, along with details of your blog's performance, such as audience demographics, traffic statistics, and anything else that is important. It should also always include your blog's media kit. Alternatively, you can try writing paid reviews. This option is like a sponsorship with one main difference. You're sent a product for free or you're given early access to an app or software so that you can test it out and write a review about it. A tip for this? Think of your readers when you seek out sponsorship. Make sure to review products or partner with companies that are relevant to your blog's content and that your audience will find helpful. Okay, moving on to email lists. An email list is extremely important to having a successful blog. You own your email list and instead of getting someone to only come to your blog one time, you get them to opt into your email list so that you can let them know of new posts, sales, etc. Being on an email list can be annoying, so make it worth their while. To get someone on the list, it works well to give them something. Offer something that can lure them into signing up to the list. With the right email marketing strategy and a large enough email list, you can also create a profitable newsletter. Creating a profitable newsletter involves some of the same strategies that monetizing your blog entails. For example, you could reach out to a brand your readers would be interested in and offer advertising space in your newsletter. You can also do affiliate marketing. Mention or recommend a particular product within the newsletter and add its tracking or affiliate links. This way you can receive a commission for every transaction your subscribers complete. A tip for this could be add a newsletter sign up to your blog to get readers emails and consider using an email marketing software such as Constant Contact or MailChimp to manage and automate your newsletter. Another thing you will need to do is launch social media if you do not have one already. You want people to know you and they can get into you and whatever you are writing about or selling. It's hard for people to connect when you are behind a keyboard and not showing your personality. Instagram doesn't bring much traffic to my blog like Pinterest does unless I'm posting a specific trip or an outfit that someone wants to know about. Then I see more views from IG. With social media, consistency is key. So join these social media networks and get to sharing these posts. Lastly, you can create an insider exclusive membership. Some readers may be willing to pay for a membership plan to get access to an exclusive content such as downloadable PDFs, in-depth articles, forums, podcasts, online courses or subscription boxes, or etc. Subscriptions can be set up using membership builder plugins which will allow you to quickly get started and ready to start accepting those payments. There are a lot of popular membership plugin options to choose from on WordPress. Most membership plugins offer guides and tools to regulate content access, create membership levels, and integrate payment options. A tip for this is look for a membership plugin that could handle a growing audience and that offers flexible membership options and pricing. Okay, that is it for my tips on how to make money from a blog. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If so, give it a quick thumbs up and make sure to comment. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any more business videos like this. See you guys next time.